Hi, oh, I'm Xiao. Uh, the team I belong to focused on uh, LV and DM and uh, MD. I'm mainly engaged in MD software rate. Today, my subject uh, is MD cluster rate. This is the overview of my presentation today. Uh, Red Hat is free MD cluster rate to real 8. Uh, then some basics, uh, read basics, cluster basics, and uh, the multiple writer problem. After talking about uh, these basics, we can understand how MD cluster read works better. Uh, <coughs> read has existed for a long time. It groups uh, disks into one single disk to offer uh, larger size, uh, high performance, and redundancy. Um, uh, we can set RAID into three basic groups. No redundancy, full redundancy, and uh, calculated redundancy. RAID 0 is no redundancy, but the performance is best. RAID 1, RAID 10, and RAID 1 E are full redundancy. They uh, store data into two copies uh, or more. RAID 4, 5, 6 are calculated redundancy. They calculate parity for each write. Uh, they save more space than for redundant, redundant uh, arrays, but they cost more CPU on uh, parity calculation. Read must be in sync state. For read 1, all member disks uh, have the same data. For read 4, 5, 6, the parity should be the XOR value of, the, uh, of other data disks. Sometimes uh, there is a crash or something else that the read will be in non-sync state, it needs to do a resync to keep the read in sync state. And during the resync, bitmap is used to uh, award a full resync. You can plug some disks into your machine and uh, create the read device, then you can use the read device on your machine. Now, not only we can use read device on one machine situation, we can also use it in cluster environment. We can uh, set cluster into two, into two different types. The first is distributed cluster file systems. The client nodes have local storage. For one write request, it needs write into at least two nodes. Uh, for example, Ceph. And the second is the shared storage cluster. The storage is separate from cluster nodes and uh, connected by all cluster nodes uh, through storage area network. In shared storage cluster, CRVM and MD cluster can be used to provide the shared storage with redundancy. They create a host-based mirroring across storage servers. And uh, in shared storage cluster, all nodes can send simultaneous rewrite requests to the shared storage. So the problem comes, there is a multiple writer problem. Processes write to the same position at the same time will cause data corruption. So, uh, so whoever writes the data is responsible for the consistency. File system needs to be uh, responsible for the consistency in file system level. User space pro uh, processes need to be responsible for the consistency in user space level. For shared storage cluster, it's need, it needs to be uh, responsible for the consistency in the uh, shared storage cluster environment. Cluster uh, file system is used in the shared storage cluster. It's responsible for the consistency in the cluster environment. Cluster file systems are designed to work with shared storage to um, where each node can potentially write directly to any block. So, uh, cluster file systems are, uh, you, uh, they use a cluster-wide locking service, such as DLM, uh, distributed, uh, distributed uh, lock manager to coordinate among cluster nodes. Uh, for shared storage cluster, MD cluster chooses uh, read 1 and read 10 in the cluster environment. 
um, because with the zero doesn't support uh, redundancy. With the four, five, six need to um, calculate parity for each right, so it needs more coordination. So uh, four redundant rates are best, but it even needs to do some coordination for uh, four redundant rates. I will uh, I'll use the read one cluster as the example in the following presentation. If read one is used <coughs> as the shared storage in a cluster environment, it can work well as long as all hardware is working correctly. But it has problems when some hardware uh, fail. The first the problem is bitmap. In MD bitmap. One bit represents uh, a device a region <coughs> on member disk. Write to request, write to this region. Uh, the corresponding bit is set and is cleared after the data is stored on member disks. So from uh, an unclean boot, read device will check bitmap. The bits that have been set uh, tell the regions that needs rethinking, so it doesn't need to do a full rethink. It saves much time. It improves the rethink performance. Um, in MD uh, cluster read, different nodes can write to the same region uh, at the same time, so different nodes need to set or clear the bit at the same time on different machines. If we don't use, uh, there will be a mess if we don't use a log to control it, but there will be a performance impact if we use a log. MD cluster uses a set of bitmaps, one per node. Uh, every cluster node needs to record their own bitmap separately. It's the bitmap layout. Uh, the first is the bitmap disk layout on one member disk in single node system, the one machine situation. And the second is the bitmap disk layout uh, in cluster read one. In cluster read one, all member disk has the same set of bitmaps, but the per node bitmaps are, are different. On node one, it just uh, writes the node one's bitmap. It doesn't write other nodes' bitmaps. <laughs> On node two, it's same. It just uh, writes node two's bitmap, and it doesn't write other nodes' bitmap. But on every node, it can see it can see other nodes' bitmaps. The second problem is uh, is single cluster node failure. Uh, let's use an example. If node one fails or is unexpectedly disconnected from the storage, and uh, it has been writing to the shared storage at the same time, the write request uh, could have succeeded on one device and not on the other, resulting in inconsistent content. If there are read requests on other nodes uh, to read these regions that have inconsistent content. They may read different data. On the one uh, single node system, the one machine situation, it can do a rethink to resolve the inconsist inconsistency problem. <coughs> rethink only reads from the first device, uh, not first device, rethink only reads from one device and the rights to another until the rethink finishes. Uh, be after everything finishes, all member disk have the same data. Before everything finishes, if there are read requests to read these regions, then they have inconsistent content. Read one, uh, disable read balance. Read balance is used to choose which disk is better to read. After disabling read balance, it's just the reads from the first device. So it can, uh, it can read the same data all the time. Before everything finishes, after everything finishes, for read one cluster, it needs to do these two jobs. 
to resolve this inconsistency problem too. So, yeah, the first problem, disable the balance. It's easy to uh, do it on one machine situation. Uh, you just need to set a bit or a value or something else, and when read request come, uh, it checks the value. If the value is two, okay, I will read from the first device. But for read one cluster, it needs to disable read balance on all cluster nodes. Uh, it needs a method to coordinate between cluster nodes. The second uh, rethink um, is for read one cluster. It needs to choose. It needs to choose one node to do the rethink, and uh, for um, read one. The write request and the resync request can't write to the same position at the same time. Read one uses a window to control it. If the write request wants to write to the resync window, they need to wait until the resync window moves forward. In read one cluster, if one node is doing resync, other nodes on other nodes, the right request want to write this resync region. How do they know the resync information? All their jobs are, need a method to coordinate between cluster nodes. Their distributed lock manager, TLM, is used in read one cluster environment. Yeah, read one cluster coordinates actions via DLM. When a uh, lock space is joined. It will be notified when uh, other nodes join, fail, or uh, leave the cluster. So the example we talked just now, when node one fails, there, uh, when node one fails, other nodes will receive a notification that there is something wrong in the cluster to avoid inconsistency. Other nodes disable with the balance here. So from here, after disabling with the balance, all, all cluster nodes read from the first device. The first device and all cluster nodes have the same understanding of the first device. So from here, uh, read one cluster can work well without the risk of inconsistency. After disable read, read, uh, after disable uh, read balance, the read performance is not good as before. Now we need to do rethink to keep all member disk uh, have the same data. <coughs> uh, when rethink uh, action needs to be performed and uh, coordinations between cluster nodes, DLM resources uh, are used. When the DLM resource has a name that is used to differ from other nodes, and uh, it has uh, an area that is used to store data. If one node one, uh, wants to send information to other nodes, it can store the information in this area and uh, then send a message to other nodes. The, it has a callback function. After the node sends their message to other nodes. Other nodes can get this information from this callback function. <coughs> uh, in, a, uh, in this, uh, it chooses, uh, if node two has been chosen for uh, to do the rethink, and uh, node, two, node two needs to copy, yeah, you, you know, the bitmap layout, every node can see other nodes bitmap. If node two has been chosen to do a resync, it can copy the field node bitmap to its own. After doing this, the node two can do the resync uh, as the normal read one does. During the resync, the node two put their resync window information, the start address and the address to the area we just mentioned. The DLM resource supported. They put the uh, the information in this area and send the message to other nodes. The node three get this information. Okay, now node three already know the rethink information 
the right request on node 3 needs to check the resync information first. If the right request want to write this resync window, they need to wait until the resync window moves forward. On, on node 2, the resync window moves forward. It tells other nodes about this information again. So on other nodes, they can get the uh, information. The right request then were, uh, are waiting uh, for the resync information, uh, for the resync window, can write to the window. So uh, it's the resync uh, until the resync finishes. After resync finishes, um, the read one, the member disks in read one cluster have their same data. A read one cluster comes back into a sync state. Uh, I think uh, it's what I want to talk about today. Uh, first, uh, I uh, talked uh, some basics, uh, read, read basics, cluster basics, and the multiple letter problem. And uh, we talked about the challenge, why read one can't work in the cluster. The bitmap, for the bitmap problem and the resync problem, they need to co coordinate between cluster nodes. And uh, if we want uh, re resync in read one cluster, we talked about yeah, disable read balance in read one cluster. And uh, then we talked about the uh, uh, resync in read one cluster until the uh, read one cluster comes back to a normal state. And uh, these are some upstream resources that uh, we can uh, follow. Uh, the first is the uh, patch, original patch set that uh, uh, brought from uh, SUSE uh, software engineers. S uh, sorry, uh, my pronunciation is not good, so uh, the first name I, uh, yeah. The second is, the, uh, is a very nice uh, article, article that uh, we can read to understand the uh, MD cluster better. And uh, the third is the uh, source code that uh, we can read the source uh, code. Mm, and uh, I want to thank uh, John and the Hans that uh, helped me uh, to, uh, for the presentation. Yeah, that's all. And uh, uh, some que some questions. And uh, my uh, my English is not very good, and uh, my listening is poor. So please. Uh, ask uh, uh, sl slowly so I can understand you well. Thank you very much. It's my hard time. Uh, you mean different uh, processes on cl uh, different class nodes right to, uh, and uh, then? How, how is the cluster coordinated? I think you need to be aware. No, they, uh, they don't, the, the cluster file system have uh, us to coordinate. So for uh, read one cluster, uh, it doesn't uh, consider this problem. And uh, yeah, <coughs> the cluster file system can, guarantee uh, different nodes can write to their same position at the same time. So for CLVM and MD cluster, they don't need to consider about this problem. Yeah. No questions? Oh, OK. Oh, hello? What is the performance? Uh, Position. Uh, so if different machines are writing to different positions, mm -hmm. so lots of parallel writing across the cluster, mm -hmm. 
what is the performance effect? Uh, cluster file system or logs a big range for every cluster node. So most of the time, they, uh, on one node, it just writes this area, and uh, on, uh, how can I say? every node writes uh, its, its area that's uh, allocated by cluster file systems. So uh, most of the cases, there, it's like it's like right to a normal read one. No lock, no lock is needed. Yeah. I know that there are um, differences, obviously, between hardware. You have the bitmap area, and you have the data area. And when you make a write, you got to write the bitmap. And your head on your hard drive is ping-ponging around. Now you can imagine multiple machines who may have their own bit area, you're gonna be pinging these around. There was a time when it was thought that all this action between the bitmap and the data would be prohibitively expensive in a cluster because of all the ping-ponging. And so there was an old version of cluster mirroring that would aggregate those bitmap writes over a network interlink and then have one machine responsible for writing it out reducing the amount of disk I.O. But these days we have modern modern drives, right? SSDs, MDMEs, that you don't pay that same kind of penalty. And it makes a lot more sense to do it in MD cluster way, array, the way they do it, writing to uh, their own separate bitmap areas. And the performance reduction is much less. Further down the road in the future, you could even imagine Thank you. Thank you. One question: What's the big difference to already existing systems like DRVD? What's the what? What's the big difference to DRVD? I mean, there are multiple ways to skin a cat. I mean, th this is predominantly uh, keyed towards um, like cluster file systems like GFS and things like that. Um, I've heard you could do that with the RVD. I don't see people typically doing that. Well, the RVD was about replication, right? Yeah. This is about concurrent use. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and the RVD is typically more used in like HA clusters, mm -hmm. failover type yeah. situations, whereas this is active, active. Right. Yeah, just, just thought because the latest version is going to give you the uh, future, you can do the same. Yeah, uh, I think you can too. So. Yeah. Basically, giving your. So it's like another way of doing yes. why this. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you.